posting because uh, I just have so much going on. I have so much going on with a lot of things, with work, personal stuff. So I'm just trying to focus on things that are important, you know? And my job is one of them. I don't know if I'm going to be staying with the company I'm at right now because uh, a lot of things have been bothering me. Like, I got an air leak on my tractor. I operate the same tractor day in and day out. So I get this, oh, well, first, I'm at a terminal, right? I'm at a terminal and I'm like telling the maintenance guy, hey, I got an air leak in the back. It's not bad. But DOT can hear the air leak, one, and two, when I'm on an incline, the fucking airbag on the tractor just goes, it just deflates quickly, and it wants to pull my brake, right? So I gotta put it in neutral, pull the brake myself, that way I don't lose air. I was telling that to the maintenance guy, and they're like, all right, all right, go pick up a load, they tell me two guys, my boss and the maintenance guy tell me go pick up the load and then take the truck to Bruckner's Volvo, right? I'm like, alright the maintenance guy told me that so I go pick up the load and I put on this on the group chat I put on the group chat a, you know shipper to Volvo my boss called me right away. Why, why are you going over there? I'm like, sir, the air leak. He goes, who told you to go there? I'm like, fucking maintenance. He goes, let me call you back. He calls me back and he tells me, I just got off the phone with maintenance. They want you to deliver the load and then fix it when you come back. Right away, I was just like, they don't give a fuck if I get pulled over by DOT. They don't give a fuck about safety. They don't give a fuck about this vehicle. They don't give a fuck about my license. So I was already like pissed, right? Because right there I have the opportunity. I had plenty of time too. I had plenty of time because when I got out of the shipper, it was like 1 p.m. That load didn't deliver until midnight. And I was on my way to Houston. Houston's right around the corner, right? It don't take long to get to Houston. So I'm like, dude, I have plenty of fucking time. It's just a little early. I could put some fucking like a chongo on the pinche valve and it'll probably fix it. It probably won't. But what I'm trying to say is it wasn't like a major repair. I don't, I don't think it was, right? Well, anyway, that, that made me really upset, right? So... I deliver the load, I come back, and I'm not talking to my boss, right? I'm not talking, I'm just fucking, anything they want me to do extra, I'm saying no, I'm shutting down, it's, no, I'm not operating this fucking vehicle without you fixing the fucking repairs, like we planned, right? That was just, I'm already frustrated, right? Well, on my day off, he wants me to take the truck to Volvo. He don't tell me how I'm going to get back. So I'm supposed to pay out of pocket to, after I drop off the truck? Or am I supposed to stay there? I was going to stay there, right? I don't give a fuck. I just want this tractor fixed. Or I ain't working. Plain and simple. That's my mindset, right? Alright. Well, I get a... No, he didn't tell me when to go to Volvo. So I get a phone call for maintenance. And he's like... Sheila, where are you at? I'm like, I'm getting ready to go to Volvo. He goes, they're waiting on you. I said, well, give me like 30 minutes to an hour because to get to the truck and to Volvo is going to take me about an hour. He goes, well, I don't know if he's going to wait on you that long. I said, well, I wish you guys would tell me what time I was, I was supposed to be there. He goes, well, your boss said he told you 8 a.m. He didn't tell me anything. He did not tell me 8 a.m. He didn't tell me shit, I said. He didn't say anything. He did not tell me 8 a.m. I, mean, I said it like that, but inside I was just like, man, fuck this guy. He wants to 
but he wants to put the blame on me like uh, anyway I'm just like done with you boss I'm done with you I'm done with your lies I'm done with your postponing shit I'm done with you not getting shit done get it together and then call me get it together get your shit fucking fixed and then call me so I can go to work